Hey guys, Michael Langston here in the Green Hills of Kenya, the Chulu Hills, Hemingway's Green Hills of Kenya, for my first vlog. And uh, I decided instead of just doing reviews, I would do first impressions. Uh, so today's vlog is my first impression of my La Sportiva shoes. Been out here hiking for an hour, and let me tell you that the terrain doesn't get much more challenging than this. Um, it's, as you can see, no trails, lots of hills, lots of long grass, wild animals, big rocks everywhere, buried, hidden in the grass. So it's a good, uh, good proving ground for testing out a new pair of shoes. Testing these shoes because I'm planning on hiking the PCT in 2018. I uh, picked them up at REI. Don't exactly remember how much for, but they weren't super expensive. And, uh, yeah, I've had them out here on the trail for, or off trail as it is, for a little over an hour now. Hiked over a couple of hills. And already starting to uh, beat them up a little bit, which is great. Construction seems to be pretty average for a tennis shoe. Some showing glue lines and stuff in the toe. It's, but what do you expect for a hundred dollar pair of shoes? They're pretty stable. I noticed when I first started walking that I was heel striking a lot. So we'll see how that progresses. But I'm comfortable in them. Uh, never wore them before this hike. I bought them in the States. Brought them out here to Kenya in my suitcase. And put them on for the first time this morning. The one thing that I did notice, I was hiking, I hiked up a hill, uphill is generally easier for me, and then before I went to go down the hill, I went to retighten my laces, and I decided I was going to use the lace locker loop, which if you're familiar with most running shoes, there's generally a second hole right behind this lace, and you tie the lace back, you create a loop, then you pull the other lace through it so that when you tighten it, it really holds your heel back into the shoe. Well, to my surprise, when I went to put the lace locker in, there is no lace locker. So I just tightened them up. They're a little bit tight on the top of my foot now for going downhill. Um, about a half size bigger than I normally wear, so these are size 11. They seem to be working pretty well for me. I haven't been hitting the, the toe box or anything. Uh, pretty pretty comfortable fit right out of the box and uh, I'll put them back on we'll we'll go for a walk and I'll talk about them while I'm walking all right guys got a cup of coffee in me got my shoes back on and uh, I'm kind of perched up on a hill here so let's start with the most challenging part which is the downhill for me as you can see the ground is super rocky and it's all loose. It's all volcanic loose rock. Oh, there's some hard beast over there. Let's, uh, let's be distracted for a second. Check out the hard beast. The pleasures of hiking in the Chu Hills of Kenya. All right, they'll bark at me and run off here any second. Because I'm not the most quiet hiker. But, uh, downhill, it's loose. Oh, there we go, first call. That only happens about 15 times a hike out here for me, but, uh, shoes are still on my feet. They're definitely a little bit slicker on the downhill than my hiking boots, but I'm not going to wear hiking boots on the PCT, so better learn to hike in shoes. <laughs> All right, nice and dirty. A uh, lot of ankle rolls in this kind of terrain, and there's nothing these shoes are going to do to stop that. So, try to hike a little bit slower, a little bit more careful because injury will put me out, bum me out. I don't want that to happen. 
Those heart beasts are still there, standing just uphill from us. I can't believe it. Beautiful. Oh, and those are Eland. Everybody's taking off now. Sorry, guys. Beautiful. I'm gonna hike right up in between these two little hills here. The other thing that's challenging about hiking out here that we'll soon find out, I'm sure, is look at these bushes, man. These little thorns fall all over the ground, and when they do, they definitely pierce shoes. So we'll see how long it takes before I have one of those in my feet. Africa wears out equipment quick. So I'll follow this uh, vlog up eventually with a worn out or thrown out vlog whether or not I keep the shoes and wear them out or whether they get donated to the thrown out bag uh, but right now I can tell you they feel pretty comfortable they feel like I've owned them for a while just need to go put 20 or 30 miles on them to really get a good impression five mile hike today was just for warm up and uh, to make sure they didn't kill me, so. La Sportiva, running shoe. And uh, in the Chulu Hills, I'll catch you guys on the next vlog, later.